Cultivation theory examines the long-term effects of television. The primary proposition of the cultivation theory states that the more time people spend living in the television world, the more likely they are to believe in the social reality that aligns with the reality that is portrayed on the screen. In The Killing, an example of this would be the fact that you don't find out straight away who could Nana Burke Larson. In the first episode, you find out that the murderer is linked to Meryl Candidate, but you do not find out the perpetrator. Producers use posters, trailers and audience review to entice audiences to watch the programme. An example of this from The Killing would be the posters they used and the trailer. The trailer showed a lot of action and was very fast paced. It then had the reviews from high end and well known, well renowned organisations. They also said that the show was BAFTA award winning. States that the gender power asymmetry is a controlling force in cinema and film, constructed for the pleasure of the male viewer. This is deeply rooted in the patriarchal ideologies and discourses. This means that the male viewer is the target audience, and therefore their needs are met first. Then the problem stems from an old-fashioned, male-driven society. Mulvey's theory on how women are portrayed in film and the media is just as prevalent today as it was in 1975, when her text was first published. Steve Neal's theory is genre is instances of repetition and difference. This theory states that every show borrows conventions from others, then differs from it as well. An example of the show, The Killing, is mainly a film noir style show with tones of a police procedural. The film noir sense of repetition is there. There is a crime to be solved, the victim is a woman who has been overpowered, and there is a detective to investigate. However, the differences come with the fact that the lead character and detective is a woman. Order of belief, there are five stages of equilibrium in a text or film. These are the equilibrium, which is the balance, the disruption of the equilibrium, the recognition of the disruption, the attempt to repair the disruption, and the return to the equilibrium. In the show The Killing, the equilibrium or balance will be the stages before the body of Nana Burke Larson is found. Uh, this also could be uh, Detective Lund's leaving party. The disruption of the equilibrium is when the body of Nana Burke Larson is found in the boot of a car at the bottom of a lake. The recognition of this is when uh, both detectives tell the parents of Nana Burke Larson that their daughter has been found dead. The attempt to repair the disruption is the investigation into the murder and the return to the equilibrium is when the real perpetrator of the crime is found and brought to Strauss's theory of binary opposition is evident in the killing. One example would be Detective Lund and Detective Meyer. Lund is coming to the end of her career in the department, Meyer is new. Another difference is that Lund is a woman and Meyer is a man. Another Another example of this in the show The Killing is a victim, Nana Burke Larson. and Charles Hartman. Nana is a young and vulnerable girl. She has no power. Hartman is older. He's a politician. He's running for mayor and is very powerful in the society. The contrast between these characters is evidently clear and it takes parts of this theory into account in the show. Knight's theory states the satisfaction is guaranteed to the genre. The death rule of the ine inevitable provides the audience with the pleasure of the prolonged anticipation. From the killing, we know that Lund and Meyer solved the case, but we still continue to watch to see what happens when they do. Another example is that we know someone killed Nana Larson, but we can still continue to watch to see who committed the crime. Basically, 